just going to open 3D Max. And um, again, some of the windows and well, they may need resizing here. There'll be funny sizes just because I've shrunk the size of my desktop um, display so I can um, screen capture it properly. Um, now, when my um, 3D Max opens here, it, it, it opens with a, a V-Ray light and a compass system in there. It, it also uh, opens with all my V-Ray settings so I can render, render nothing beautifully in V-Ray there. Just to show you here, it has all my settings um, done there already. It'll also have my units set up correctly. I'm going to use meters. I always use meters, in fact. Um, and if you want to create a file like this, you need to. It's quite useful. Um, instead of uh, redoing, you know, checking all of that every time you open something. Um, in my Max scenes directory I've got a file called max start and whatever you put in whatever you save as max start it will open that file automatically so that, that can be quite useful now actually it can be useful but not right now because we're just going to use scanline and we don't want to use any of these V-Ray li lights or anything like that so I'm going to I'm going to delete all those out and I'm going to go to my render setup and I'm going to change the renderer to scanline Here we go, and uh, because I've been using the V-Ray frame buffer, I need to remember to turn the rendered frame window on again here. And I'm just going to set this up whilst I'm here. I'm going to be um, rendering some displacement maps. Uh, so I'm just going to change these, and we might change these a bit later, but that'll do for now. It's just going to quite simply render um, a, a square and in fact it's white, uh, so I want to change that because uh, that's a V-Ray environment it's showing. I think there's probably a, a V-Ray tune which we can delete as well. And instead of this, we'll just we'll get rid of that. And I'm actually going to change the background to be bright red, and you'll see why in a minute. Just uh, if I render that quickly, just rendering a red square. So I'm going to go to File, um, References, and I'm going to go to File Link Manager. And again, I'm going to choose that uh, AutoCAD drawing that we were just looking at. And it was this file here, House by the Sea 01. And uh, I don't need, I don't really need to bring in all of that, but um, I, I might as well. If I, if I wanted to just choose um, selected layers I could do it here um, we'll just attach the whole thing and uh, uh, there we go it's going to be a, a little slow but um, we don't need to do too much moving around so that's not going to be a big problem uh, and I'm going to bind that drawing in so we don't, we don't need uh, not relying on AutoCAD anymore and you can see like I said, the um, the contours there have been arranged in so that they're all at the right heights here. Uh, yeah, that's one ob that's one object. If I just go to wireframe, uh, there's two objects there, and these are the two objects we're going to use to build uh, the terrain, the first part of the terrain, and uh, it's really simple to do that. I'm going to hide everything else. I'm just going to go to Compound Objects and choose Terrain. And there we go. It's built it quite quickly, very quickly actually. Uh, I can just get rid of that shape there. And if we show this um, without smoothing on it, so we'll just turn the um, auto smooth off. You can see uh, you can see it's done a very good job. In fact, I've deleted, the, I've used the splines to build that, but I can just quickly show you if I file link in the drawing just quickly to show you what it's 
show you how accurate it is. And I will just choose those two layers. And you can see it's spot on. Okay, uh, we don't want that. So, okay, well that was really simple. What's the point in the tutorial? Well, this object here is pretty tricky to do anything with. It's um, quite a messy mesh, and it's quite hard to, um, to alter that quickly in any way. So we're going to use this um, to create a displacement map, uh, uh, which is going to be a lot easier to change. Um, all right, so let's do that.